Video Productions. What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is a really short, quick, easy um, installation I'm going to do here. I just wanted to, figured while I'm out here I might as well film it, show you guys how to do it. Uh, this is a uh, cabin air filter install <clears throat> on a um, 2018 Ram 2500 with the Cummins in it. Uh, I opted for the K&N because, well if you want to be exact, it was the only available one at AutoZone. I don't usually go expensive on these. Typically these are like $10, $15 or so. Uh, generic brand. It's just a filter. You don't have to go crazy. But um, the reason I'm doing it is not so much because I'm not really paying too much attention to my service intervals. But I'm not getting great um, airflow out of my vents anymore. And I'm thinking that this thing is probably clogged up. So I'm going to check in there and see if it's clogged. It, it needs to be replaced anyways. I don't remember the last time I've done it. I, I think... Some people do this 10,000 miles, uh, 15,000 miles. Uh, I'm pretty sure mine's been longer than that. So uh, let's get to this. All right, now the, pretty much this step's gonna apply to almost every vehicle uh, there is, <laughs> at least most of them anyway. Might be a little bit different, but it's always up behind the glove box or usually behind the glove box. There's usually something holding this in. This appears to be some form of a little string. I'll just see how I can do this with one finger. One string's holding this tab in. So you're gonna pull it back. Oh, one finger. That's how easy that is. Let's see if there's one on the other side. Nope, there's not one on the other side, just that side. So I'm going to put this camera down, see if you guys can still see it. Pinch these in. And there you go. So as you can see, you can do this whole job with one finger. That's what she said. <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> All right, so there's your there's your little door for your uh, for your filter right there. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. You got to pinch pinch some things together right there. Press it in, pop it off. I got one side. Let's see, and I don't have my phone, my camera mount, so I'm trying to film this and do this all at the same time. So there goes the other one. So again, pretty much do every step of this job with one finger. It's crazy easy to do. Let's check out this filter. Let's see how dirty this thing is. Oh yeah. It's not quite as dirty as I thought it would be. It's also not getting dirt very evenly either. Look at that. It's like almost clear on this side and filthy on this side. can't see through that well you can see through it on one side but definitely can't see through it on the other so let's see if this actually helps um, the airflow well, all right I'm gonna put this back together so I can actually do this with both hands and I'll get back to you guys in a second all right guys so I got the truck on AC on all the way up uh, noticeable increase in airflow coming from the vents I mean you can hear it, it sounds like it's even increasing now So, yeah, that's obviously a culprit uh, in doing that as uh, letting, your, letting your cabin air filter get clogged up will do that. So I've needed to do that for a while. I figured I'd show you guys. Um, like I said, I went with the K&N. Uh, you don't need to go with the K&N. You don't need a $40 filter to do that. They are reusable, so you can clean them and reuse them. Um, I don't, they're not oiled, and I don't think that would matter in a... And you're, I guess it would matter actually, yeah. I never thought about it because I know K&N always made these oiled filters. Uh, I don't, I don't use K&N. I don't think I ever had a K&N cold air intake on anything. So I'm not really used to K&N filters, but it's a cabin air filter. Like I said, I'd get the cheap $10, $15 one. Probably not even going to clean this one. I'm probably going to replace it whenever it gets dirty. Um, I don't know how long that'll be. We'll see. And I might clean it. I might try and then see how useful it actually is cleaned. So anyway, a uh, quick video, just a little quick install video on how to do a cabin air filter. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, like and subscribe. Most of my videos coming up are going to be on this truck over here on the current, uh, it looks like a welding truck right now. It has no bed on it. But yeah, we're doing lots of videos to all these trucks. So uh, like and subscribe, stay tuned to that stuff. Um, and until next time, guys.